Hey, what's up guys? It's Benny here, and welcome to a 64 gun streak with the MTAR uh, on the map standoff. I'll uh, whack the class I'm using in the corner for you guys, just in case you want to go use it yourself. It's a really, really good class, and it's a class I've been using a lot recently, um, especially since I've started trying to not use the AM94 as much, and the MTAR was an assault rifle I used to use all the time. Um, so I'll stick that in the corner. And guys, you'll probably notice on my channel recently, I've been playing a lot more 6v6 solo and stuff like that. I mean, I've been finding it so much more fun. It's reminded me how I used to play in Modern Warfare 3. I always used to play solo because that's what I find found really challenging, going for like solo double mobs, solo triple mobs, and stuff like that. And it's really, really fun. And it's just brought back the enjoyment going for these high gun streaks and like nuclears and stuff and just trying to beat your personal times and stuff. Because um, I'm still going for the 300 plus. I've got another Road to 300 Plus coming out tomorrow along with the Q&A uh, video because I've been meaning to do this Q&A video for so, so long. I'm, so I'm just going to link it in with my Road to 300 Plus. Um, and just things keep coming up. I either go away or um, just like work comes up or stuff like this. And it's just, it's just frustrating because I want to get my Q&A out because uh, you guys have sent in some really, really good questions. Uh, which I want to answer. But anyway guys, that's not what I want to talk about today. Today, I, I just want to, there's a couple things I want to talk about actually, because it's quite, it's quite a longish video. Um, the first thing's a, a new series that I want to start working on. Uh, which is this guide video pretty much it's like a map guide how to play because uh, a lot of people always ask me for like tips and tricks and stuff and I thought it'd be best if I go into like an in-depth guide sort of thing like uh, how I play each map like how to play raids show go through opening rush routes um, go how to play certain flags wh which routes to take and stuff like that because I think it'd be really interesting especially uh, if you're never too sure on how to play each individual map how how I play it um, it's not the only way to play certain maps um, but I find it works for me so I'm going to be bringing that series I'm going to be working on the weekend if you guys want it um, it'll take quite a bit of time to do because I have to edit on all the maps and do it it'll take a lot of editing um, but I think it'll be worth it because it'll, it'll definitely definitely help a lot of you guys um, especially but I'm not sure which map to do first I'll probably end up doing raid first because that's the map everyone really plays uh, it's the most played map definitely for domination and guys, I just kind of want to get into something that's like in my real life and stuff like this. Um, it's like all my friends keep having to go at me for it. And I was just like, why, why, why do you have to keep doing this? Because uh, I'm like one of the few few guys who I know who, who doesn't drive. Because I live in the central London. I always use like the tubes, buses and stuff like that. Because I don't see the point of driving. And it is so damn expensive to park a car in Lon central London. It's ridiculous, right? I could buy a house. Well, not literally a house, but near enough, right? It's like £800 a month or something like that for parking, which is ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to be paying 800 pounds like all my money that's like every all my money every month is just like go to my car park so it's just the thing i because but i kind of want to learn to drive because guys guys this is a big tip because i have to carry my passport out with me when i go out uh, which is a big trust me bad bad thing to do um i've lost my passport a couple times actually um because when when you're going out and stuff you just you just don't know what's going to happen and you're going to lose lose stuff so definitely definitely get your provisional this is where i went wrong all right because I, I kind of need to want to start to learn to drive because it, it's really, really cool. I think it's a really cool thing to do. And like, I enjoy, I've done go karting and stuff, and I've enjoyed that. So, but I know it's not supposed to be the same as go karting. It's like a very naive look. It's like go kart, yeah. Uh, well, it kind of is if you get an automatic car. Um, I, 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 I actually have had a small go at driving a real car. Um, it, I was at my cousin's in um, Kingston. Right, and he was, he was about to change up his car, so he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll teach you, I'll teach you a little bit. Right, so he took me to this kind of abandoned car park right, uh, in the middle of nowhere. There was one car in it, okay? There was just this one car in this entire car park. Right, so I started going, right? The first attempt, right, he's like, okay, you just go through this. You like slowly go on the clutch before as you go into gear and stuff like this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I was just like, right, first time I stalled it. Right, simple, it just kind of juddered. Right, it didn't go very well. Um... Actually, that just reminded me, I, I once stuck my uh, the car keys in my mum's car, right, because I was just like, oh, I just wondered what, what it'd be like to turn the engine on. Turn it on, I, I didn't realise it wasn't in gear, it was in, like, it was in gear or something, and it just lurched forward, I nearly slammed it into a tree, and I was like, <gasps> like, when it got back, it was like a millimetre away from the tree, which was really, really, really bad idea to do, because uh, we are supposed to be putting our bags in. But anyway, back to this, um car park with my cousin um, I, he was teaching me how to drive, he was going through the basics right? and I s eventually after about 10-15 minutes managed to start moving forward very very slowly right? so he was just like oh yeah go forward and then stop and I'll reverse you back right? and like, I had to start doing that for a bit more and like, I, I'm a, what I've learned is I am a rubbish, rubbish driver Okay, I, I I haven't done very much, and oh look at that turn on! Oh yes, um, but I I can't, I can't drive to save my life. But it, it's one of those skills that I think I'm gonna have to learn to do at some point, because um, I want to do a road trip around America, and like just start from like the southern states and work my way across. 
uh, or something like that because it's one of those things I've always had in my, in my mind because I used to watch this um, show on BBC uh, with uh, Fern Cotton and Reggie 8 Reggie 8? I think it's Reggie 8 uh, where they did a road to Brand American I've been fascinated with doing something like that ever since um, but yeah I was in the car and I was driving around the, around the thing, right? And, and I somehow, I have no idea how, right? It's a giant car park. I, I kind of pretty much almost scratched the other car, right? I, I apparently missed it by about a minute because I was driving as if I was in the middle. You know, like it's kind of deceiving because you're on one side of the car, right? And you're passing it on the left hand side. And my car just started going, No, Ben, stop, stop! And I was just like, Why? What's wrong? I just, it was so close, right? And I haven't gotten in a car since just because I don't think it's a good idea. I think it'd be a danger to everyone on the road. Uh, it's, it's just like, I'm clumsy at the best of times. I've never been the most, like, non-clumsy person. Like, I'll, I'll trip over stupid stuff and, like, it's just, I don't know. Somehow, I, if something is there to knock over, I will somehow knock it over. It's just, it's, it's terrible. I don't know why or how, right, because I, it's, it's my hand-eye coordination's really good, but, wait, like, my, my feet do not connect to my brain or something. Um, I have no idea. It's why I was probably always in goal in football. I was just, I was never the best outfield. I was like, yeah, I'll be in goal. I'm, I'm, I'm a good keeper. Uh, when the second I have to start controlling stuff on my feet, it goes, it's just going nowhere. It's just not good for anyone. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't been allowed near a car since, and I'm not surprised. I can't believe I nearly crashed with one car in a giant car park. Why did I go that close? It's so stupid. Um, but I'll definitely try and probably hop into the uh, car in the future. But anyway, guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see that guide video for each for each individual maps because if, if you guys want to see it and think it would be uh, helpful to you guys I'll put in the time and just get those videos made because um, I think it will probably take probably quite a few hours to make each video yeah. um, But anyway guys, uh, this is 64 Gun Street with the MTAR. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We actually demolished that team and I'll see you guys later. Bye